I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. This week, the weather has been getting nicer. The winds are finally laying down. Uh, all along this edge right here, by Channel View Pier, there's a concrete pier that comes out. Um, working this edge in about six foot of water, there's a lot of rocks right up against the shore. Uh, live croaker has been ticket early in the morning. We've been catching some slot reds through here. We've been catching a lot of good trout, 19s and 22s. Uh, so a lot of good trout working this edge uh, early in the morning. Uh, when we get our trout and if the jetties lets us, we come on to the point and we'll have cut manhaden or cut mullet. Cut skipjack has been working real well. And get out here in like that 15 to 18 foot of water. Put you about a two ounce weight right on top of that hook and knocker set up and drop them baits straight down. And there's been good slot reds out here. There's also been um, the bull reds still hanging around here. So a lot of good fish on the south and the north end of the jetty between that 15 to 20 foot of water. Uh, there's also been a few Spanish mackerel out here. Uh, the ling are starting to show up. So if you work around the buoys with some live perch, uh, you'll see them laying working working them buoys out there out in front. Uh, people are starting to troll right now for the kingfish. Once the cobia show up, then the kingfish are right there with them. So you ain't got to go very far out. Start trolling with um, with the deep diver plug, and there's been some kings being caught out here. So a lot of good fish still being caught around the both sides of the jetties, the north and the south. A um, lot of good fish when, when it's doable to get out here. On an outgoing tide, I'll get on this north side of this jetty and using cut bait or if you can find some good sized live shrimp, uh, them redfish have been working real good around here. Uh, we've also been catching a few gag groupers. Gag groupers got to be right at 24 inches to be able to keep them. Uh, but there have been some, some group around here. We've even caught a couple red snappers that were 16 to 18 inches. So a lot of good fish are working all around the jetties right now on these rocks. Um, also, early in the morning, if you got live croaker, if you get out here in front of Harbor Island and get out here in about four foot of water, four and a half foot of water and throw towards the shore, there have been good numbers of trout all running down this edge. Uh, if you don't get them in one spot, move down about 75, 100 foot. Um, and them trout early in the morning have really been turned on through here. When you're fishing this area, just be careful because them big ships come in and they'll suck that water out or they'll push a big old wave right back on top of you. So safest thing to do is pull back out, let them ships go back, come back in. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes for them fish to... To get back in position, but once they turn back on, you can get your limits pretty fast working all of this edge. Just keep bumping down. Another good place to start off in the morning is come out here towards Ransom Point. Uh, get in this deeper water, you know, five and a half uh, feet of water, and throw up on towards this flat. Live croaker has been the ticket. Been a lot of good trout working all down here by these rocks and and out here a little bit deeper on these grass beds. If you don't find them there, jump across Sunray here and start bumping your way back down Dagger. Uh, like I said, if you stay in that five foot of water, right on the edge of that grass, there's been good numbers of trout through here. Uh, as the day heats up, I'll come back with my cut bait and get them baits all the way up here, up here on these rocks or up here on this shore. Uh, look for the bait. If you find that mullet, you're going to find those redfish. They've been hanging off all around here around these rock piles and and just staying real tight. Uh, also, if you come back around and come on the inside of Ransom here, been good numbers of trout through here. There's been redfish hanging off through here. If you'll come through this little cut through here, there have been a few black drum back here around these chains of islands and in the shallower water right through here. Uh, been, what I've been doing is just getting dead shrimp, just a lead head or a little bitty weight right on top of the hook, 
and troll in real slow, you'll see that mud stir, or you'll actually see the fish. Once you do that, put your power pole down, try not to spook them, but there have been uh, some numbers of black drum all through here on the backside of Ransom in this shallower water. Another good place to ambush them trout first thing in the morning. Uh, we've been coming over here to Trailer Island over here by Big Bayou and Shell Bank and getting over here in that five foot of water and throwing up towards the bank. Uh, you got to work them them croaker, try not to reel so much, but give them a jerk, a couple jerks to get them up out of that grass. Usually when you do that, that's when them trout are going to nail it when that croaker tries to go back down. But Trailer Island right now been holding good number of trout, some good size quality trout. Um, pretty easy limits over here. Uh, as the day heats up, get your cut bait or your live mullet. Start working this edge up tight. Been numbers of redfish working up in here, uh, real tight up against this bank. So just work it slow. If you don't get them first few minutes, move down till you till you see that bait. That bait is key. Uh, also, if you want to start off early in the morning. Uh, you can come through Morris Cummins Cut and come back into South Bay with this little little ledge right here is uh, grassy. The trout have been on through here also. I've been catching good numbers of trout up here on Big Grassy. Then as the day heats up, start working it back around this around this gut, this back gut. There's been black drum through here. There's been numbers of redfish through here. Good numbers of redfish. So. Uh, there's a lot of good fish coming into our bays right now. There's a lot of bait coming in. Uh, main thing is, look for the bait. Once you find the bait, you're going to start catching fish. Watching. This is Captain Monogram.